What's going on guys, Big Time 110 here, and today I'm excited to bring you guys Lineage 18 OS for the Poco X3 NFC. That's right, today is a new phone and my first ROM review on it, so I'm excited to bring you guys, and if you don't know me by now guys, I usually do ROM videos for the OnePlus 7 Pro, but since now I got the Poco X3 as well, you'll be seeing me more often here. So right off the bat, I want to tell you guys that this ROM with Lineage 18 OS makes the phone feel like a new phone. And uh, if you see here right off the bat, you can see that double tap to sleep on the home screen doesn't work unless you have the Poco launcher, I guess. But it's okay. We get the nice trebuchet launcher that got the Google Now feed on the left. And it's nice and smooth. There's no really any issues here with that. But let's go ahead and check out the double tap to wake. Bam, it's working. And look at this, guys. The fingerprint work For me, at least, it, it feels like faster than when you have me UI. So. Now, the camera that comes pre-installed is not that good, but just install the G-Cap, guys, and that will seem to fix all your camera problems. Real quick, let me just tell you guys, I tried the FM radio with the headset, and it didn't work, so it just says the radio's off, so don't even bother trying that. So if you wanted that feature in this ROM, it's not working. And uh, if you move on to the display here, the 120 frames per second, 120 hertz is working really, really great here. No problems or issues whatsoever. Moving right along guys, as you can see, the aesthetically pleasing details that the ROM has, like that little blurring effect in the background, I love that. I just love that little touch there. Anyways, let's go to network and internet guys. Here we have all your usual settings, but there's one setting that I'm looking for here guys that is really important. There you go, Wi-Fi calling. Let's go ahead and turn that on. That is a setting for me that's a must. Me UI, I kept missing phone calls because it didn't have that, but I'm glad that I was able to get it here. So now, let's go to display guys. Here we have the dark theme. Let's go to advanced. We have styles and wallpaper. Here you could customize your wallpaper. You know, you could choose your style. And even change the grid, you know, if you want to change the grid on your home settings, you could uh, change that and even, you know, you could choose a clock if you like. And we only have these three options, unfortunately, but that's okay. Now, if we go to, let's see here, if we go to colors here, guys, we have natural, boosted, and adapt. I'll leave it at boosted because I like my colors colorful. And we could also change the font size, the display size. And what else do we have here? We have your lock screen notifications here. And you could also add a text to lock screen, you know, just in case you want to do that. We have the tap to wake, tap to sleep. But the only thing is that this tap to sleep only works on the status bar, you see? There you go. At least you get that option. So if you go here to the bottom, we have device specific settings. We have the refresh rate of 120. And when we click on that, we get these options. You could lower it to 90 or to 60, your choice. I'm gonna leave mine at 120. All right, and if you don't like the camera cutout, you could just hide that if you like. But to me, it don't make a difference. I just let it be. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Here we have the ambient display. Here are the options that you have. You could turn it on, you know, on hand wave, you know, whatever you want to turn on here, up to you. Now we go to sound here. There's really nothing special here, but at the very bottom, guys, we do get that clear speaker and the Mi Sound Enhancer. Now I thought this was kind of unique because Mi UI has these options. I didn't think they were in these ROMs. So as you can see, you can choose whatever headset or earphone you have, and you can even choose the preset. I thought that's pretty cool. If you go to storage, you can see that I have the internal and I have a SD card installed and it's reading it correctly. And if we go to security guys here, we have screen lock, fingerprint, and we go to smart lock, but we don't have 
no face unlock, so that's too bad, you know? Okay, if we go to system here, guys, we got many more options here, like buttons. We have the ability to invert the layout. We have the edge long swipe action. You got the end call, long press for the torch, which I love. You also get a bunch of other volume button options like uh, reorient and show the panel on the left if you don't like it on the right. So let me show you guys. It's right there, right? It's on the right. You turn it on, now it's gonna be on the left. So if you like it on the left, keep it on the left but I'm gonna keep mine on the right so let's go ahead and continue with this and move on uh, we do get the status bar options here so we get the system icons here you can just remove whatever icon you hate and we also have the clock position now usually I put mine in the center but with the cutout you know yeah it's not looking so good so we'll put it back on the left okay we also get the ability to show the seconds or choose your ampm style you could choose your battery style you could do circle or icon or tech and you could even have the battery percentage inside or outside the icon we also have the brightness options here okay we go back to gestures here guys we do have the assist navigations we get all three options here so if you like the three the two or the gesture navigation, there you go. We also have the power menu and this is really good because it has advanced restart. So let me show you guys how that works, okay? So if you hold the power button, this will come up and you have all your Google Pay cards and everything there, your devices that are in your home and also you get the options for power and restart. Now when you click on restart, you get these three options which is system, recovery, or bootloader. That way you can just go straight to whatever you need so if you need to go to the recovery or bootloader boom there you go at the very bottom I saw we have thermal profiles now I have no idea what this is so I'm not even gonna mess with it right now I just gotta skip that all right, so if we go to Android version, we can check that we are in the latest of the latest. Android 11, and uh, this is Lineage OS. Lineage 18.1 OS, guys. This is the Generic 14 build. This is our benchmark, guys, so if you guys are curious about the benchmark now, let me tell you guys, would I recommend this ROM to you guys on the Poco X3? Absolutely, guys. The MIUI for me, you know, it was okay. I'm not a MIUI hater. I like MIUI. But unfortunately for me, the Wi-Fi signal was weak. I was missing calls. I had so many problems that I thought I was going to have to install a ROM, and I did. And that fixed my problem. But guys, thanks so much for everything. I appreciate it if you subscribe and like the video. And like always, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.